for my returning subscribers thank you so much for returning back here to watch my videos i really appreciate your love and your support god bless you but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and you subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends today's video is going to be very interesting very unique i've never done a video like this here in my channel that makes me very very excited <laughs> and you ask yourself bella what is it all about <laughs> you have seen the title already but i'm going to be telling you what it is all about it's gonna be about your online dating profile yes if you are my subscriber i've done a video in the past about your online dating profile but today's video like i said it's a unique one it's gonna be different you are used to hear from me but today no guys no <laughs> you are going to be hearing from men men who found love on online dating apps men who are married men who are in a very good healthy strong relationship <laughs> some i have shared their love story here in my channel and some not i have said we'll be talking about your online dating profile specifically your online dating photos or the photos that you upload on your online dating profile when i did a video about your online dating profile i told you that when a man logs in on online dating apps to start browsing through women's profiles the first thing that he's gonna click on is your photo <laughs> so your photos should be very attractive attractive enough to attract that man <laughs> to make him not resist you know clicking on that photo that is why i think it is very important today we discuss more about photos that's not all guys about your online dating photos i ask them this specific question this question is coming from the ladies that i have been helping on online dating apps personally when they come on instagram so a lady comes to me and be like bella can you please take a look on my photos oh it's me most of the times i ask you guys that please send your photos that you have on your online dating profile or send me the photos that you want to upload on your online dating profile so i've been coming across this a lot <laughs> and that will take us to the question that i'm talking about so a lady sends you the photos and what you come across you come across this lady posing in designer handbags <laughs> like carrying a chanel bag a louis vuitton bag fanny bag or wearing like versace shoes you know designer 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 so when she sends her photos if i look at those photos you know in two details because <laughs> i'm someone who will even go to an extent of zooming <laughs> your photos <laughs> one time there is a lady sent me her photos and you know <laughs> and then there was this cute cute photo but unfortunately <laughs> if you could zoom <laughs> you could see her inner dress her inner outfit i think you understand me okay so i was like no girl i've seen something this photo is a no <laughs> you can't upload it so when i always get photos like those i tell the lady girl we have got a problem here <laughs> and then she's like what is it bella <laughs> i'm like your chanel handbag because <laughs> what i know according to my own experience it is not going to increase your chances to find the one it's gonna decrease the chances to find the one so i've been doing this for quite some time but i sat down i was like you know what i think i should also hear from men about this because this is 
my own experience on online dating apps but if i talk to guys who were on online dating apps they've got enough experience and these guys are serious men not men that were on online dating apps to play games no to find a woman to marry <laughs> yes so that is when i decided to start talking to one by one so guys from my explanation now we understand where we are heading okay <laughs> to the question that i ask these men these real real men <laughs> who are online and they have found love already the question goes as imagine yourself at the time you were online searching for a woman to marry that right woman <laughs> <laughs> and while you are browsing through women's profiles you come across a lady a very beautiful lady her description is <laughs> what she's looking for into a man is but when you look so close into her photos you find that this lady is posing in designer handbags, you know, in her photos, is wearing designer clothes. Due to your lifestyle, due to the woman you are searching for, could you have approached that lady and be like, hey, how are you? I want to get to know you. <laughs> or you could have ignored her. If you could have said hello, I want to get to know you, tell us why. But if you think you could have just ignored her, then give us the reasons to why you could have ignored that beautiful lady. <laughs> okay, so that was the question. And right now we are going to be hearing from these real men. <laughs> yeah. So guys, Sam managed to do a video for you so you will see them in the video answering the question and also giving you some tips on online dating apps concerning your online dating profile but there are some who couldn't manage you know to do a video for you you will hear their voice you know answering the question and giving their own opinion concerning this so dear friends are you all ready i think yes let us hear from couple number one which is of mariana and stefan the lady who had six kids and found love on online dating apps with a german guy they met on afro introductions so i reached out to mariana and she talked to stefan this is stefan's response concerning the question of a lady wearing designer things on her online dating photos <laughs> okay let's hear from him hello bella nice to hear from you that is a difficult question because when you see someone in pictures wear designer clothes and you can assume that the clothes is, is uh, not matching her life state then it is difficult to decide when she uh, you, you you can mean she is something hiding because she tried to don't show her her real life or maybe it is uh, <coughs> about uh, scamming that uh, you can think the person has much money but it is not not her way of living i I think it, it depends on, on pictures and profile. When when both match, it could be possible that that I write, but on normal circumstance, I think I would avoid that. So guys, that, that was Stefan's response. Thank you so much, Stefan. You have heard him, guys. That for him could have thought maybe you are a scammer or someone trying to live the life that is not yours <laughs> yeah so he could have not approached you so guys our second couple will be of dina and darren 
Dina the Ghanaian lady who found love on online dating apps with a British guy they met on Afro Romance. Oh, surreal, <laughs> they call it. Yeah, I think you remember their love story. I shared it here on my channel. So guys, let's hear from Darren, his own opinion concerning this. Hi, Bella, to be honest, when I was looking at profiles, I'm guessing, I, well, I can't really tell one handbag from next. They all look the same to me. But I'm guessing if it was just the one picture, the one photo on a profile that had um, a lady in a designer dress and with a designer handbag, I would probably approach. But if every single photo were like that, then I probably wouldn't because I would think that maybe they're living a lifestyle that I don't, that could be seen as shallow as in if you're looking for a deeper connection with somebody, it may seem that the lifestyle are all about just about expensive things, but there's no substance. So I'm guessing that's where my head at is with it. I hope this helps. All the best. Bye. 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 <laughs> so guys, I think you have heard from Darren tells you if it is only one photo, you posing with a designer handbag, probably he could have approached you and get to know you. But if all your photos, you're posing in designer handbags, <laughs> you're wearing, you know, designer clothes, then he could not have approached you because he could have thought that maybe you are only into that expensive lifestyle, not a woman to marry, not a woman to create a family with. So I think now we are clear on this. <laughs> I'll give my own opinion when I finish them all at the end of the video. <laughs> you also get to hear from me. So friends, our third couple, we are going to Lesotho and America. <laughs> if you remember Bopain from Lesotho, who found love on Instagram with an American guy, his name is Ronald. I shared their love story here on my channel very, very recently. <laughs> so guys, let us hear from Ronald. Let me answer this truthfully. And honestly, a woman that I would say is flaunting, flaunting Chanel, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, is someone that is probably going to be high maintenance. So as a man, you would have to think to yourself, honestly, can I afford to date this woman if she is that way? That is the honest truth. Unless she is flaunting fake Gucci, fake Louis, and all that stuff. But it never hurts to approach her and ask her what her lifestyle is. And if it's something out of your norm or out of your lifestyle, something that you cannot afford, why would you try to be with someone that you know you cannot make happy? Because Obviously, materialistic things makes that woman happy because you wouldn't flaunt things if it wasn't materialistic. If you were looking for true love, someone would accept you for who you are. It doesn't matter how much money you have. Okay, let's continue with Ronald. We are not done yet. I mean, that's a pretty easy answer too because there is nothing wrong, Bella, with a woman having a Chanel bag or a Louis bag because that means it is saved up for. That's all that means. So I would definitely recommend any man, I mean, if you find them attractive and you guys click, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that that's their lifestyle. I'm just saying you have to know what you're getting yourself into. So if like every picture has a Louis, you know, they're wearing clothing, you know, a bag is different than clothing. If they're buying clothing, and all the perfumes. I mean, obviously it's materialistic. That's what makes them happy. So um, I would definitely approach, I would never discourage anybody if they think 
They should not be discouraged just because they have a Louis bag. That means they could have saved up for it for a whole year and bought it for a birthday gift for themselves or they got it from somebody. So never discourage from true love. You know what I'm saying? Like you never discourage like someone's attracted to you because you don't know who a person truly is on the inside. I was just saying someone, I guess, that is flaunting in every picture, some kind of name brand thing is they're flaunting. There's a difference between just like being normal with a Louis bag, but you're taking all your pictures and everything has high-end products. That means you're materialistic. That means the person who you're looking for has to have money, in my opinion. That's just my opinion. So, but if you still approach them and you find out that it's just a gift or that's not their lifestyle, then they should always go for true love, always. So guys, that was Ronald's opinion and for him tells you that he could have approached that lady to get to know her, you know, <laughs> and understand what he is about to get himself into. <laughs> but this is if you've got like only one handbag, only one picture has got a designer handbag. <laughs> but if you're a lady who, you know, dresses up in all designer, designer, all photos, designer, designer, then for him, he could have thought you are materialistic. You are high maintenance, which he is against. He is telling you if you are searching for love, go for love. <laughs> no to money, oh. <laughs> I think you have understood Ronald. Let us continue. So guys, our fourth couple, we are going all the way to Zambia. If you remember Mwansa, the Zambian lady who found love on online dating apps was a single mother of two <laughs> on Afro introductions with a German guy. Currently, they are married. Guys, if you missed that story, you can go and watch it. It is such an inspiring story to you all, my lovely sisters that are still searching. So let us hear from Mwansa's husband what he has to say about this question, his own opinion. The time so you are searching him, would you... Okay, I know that you don't like that. <laughs> I know, I know you like, there are certain things you like, like if I, you know, there are certain things you like, but not these, 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 and sometimes you end up saying they are fake, some fake and some, <laughs> yeah, okay, would you, online, the time we were searching, did you look at anybody who posed in this uh, Louis, Gucci, Chanel? <laughs> no, on one hand it's cheap. It looks cheap. On the other hand, it could be a woman that is only looking for money. And the third, I would maybe I would think it's a fake profile. Yeah, yeah that's it. So guys, I think you have heard from him. He could have thought you are looking for money only, not love. And another thing he said, he could have thought, maybe you are fake, it's a fake profile. If he could have seen you in designer handbags, you know, posing or <laughs> wearing designer clothes on your online dating photos. So guys, let's go to couple number five, which is of Agnes Tanzanian, my home girl, <laughs> and Emiliano Italian, my brother-in-law, who found love on Afro introductions. I did their story too, here on my channel. So with Emiliano responded to me via a text message. It is written in Swahili, cause I was chatting with Agnes. <laughs> so I'm going to be translating for you what Emiliano responded concerning the question. So friends, Emiliano responded to this in two, two ways. <laughs> and number one tells you that when he was online still searching, was looking for someone natural and real. That is number one. Number two tells you 
when it comes to that situation, to the question, he could have approached the lady, but not as, you know, I want a relationship with you. No, approach her as a friend. Why? Because wanted to know the lady. If she is someone who is after luxury things, trending things, then that means it was going to be an end of the two of them, you know, of their friendship. <laughs> Yeah, because due to his lifestyle, can't afford to buy those luxurious things, trending things, <laughs> but only necessary and real needed things. And he is looking for someone who can be content with normal life and ready to be happy for what he can provide. Unless the lady could agree to buy those luxurious things with her own money, not his. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay. So you have heard from his response, guys. Till now, I think you have got an answer. <laughs> if it is a good idea to upload photos of you, posing in designer things. So guys, I told you he responded in two, two ways. <laughs> so we have number A, number B. Now to number B, it tells you that he could have passed that profile, could have ignored that profile because he was looking for someone who is ready to settle, not someone who is more interested in two luxurious stuffs like luxurious handbags, luxurious clothes, you know? <laughs> he was not looking for someone like that. In fact, a picture can define a lot about personality of someone. His end verse. <laughs> That's how he responded to you. And I've been telling you guys, your photo on your online dating profile will tell a lot. A guy who is still searching. Not only you, even your background matters a lot. I told you guys about this. So friends, our couple number six, we are going all the way to Nigeria. <laughs> I told you a bit about this couple. They are both black, black love. <laughs> Married already very recently. Their wedding was March this year. They found love on online dating apps. Their love story will be coming very, very soon. Only that I've got a challenge. They don't want to be seen. So I'm still thinking of how I can bring their love story to you guys. But there is a lot to learn from their love story. So how did I come to know this couple? Actually, I know the lady. Her name is Zara. Zara is my subscriber. Zara is my baby. <laughs> Because she had the name of the dating app here on my channel, went searched and eventually found the one. But like I told you, when you find the one, still exist lots of challenges. So she wanted my help, could come to me to ask for advice concerning her relationship, you know, how to go about things, how to spice up, you know, her relationship. <laughs> All those, you know, good stuffs. And God helped them. Eventually, they got married. Like I told you, 2023. So guys, the juicy part of this love story, you'll be hearing it very, very soon when I share the love story. But for today, let us hear from our brother, Ahmed. They are both Muslims. Yeah. <laughs> what he has to say, his own opinion about this. Um, I'm going to start, like, first of all, to answer the question, if a woman, if I met, before meeting Zara, if I met somebody who had a um, flashy picture with designer bags and shoes and stuff, I would not have been interested. It wouldn't have caught my attention at all, because I was serious, I was not looking to play around, and that wouldn't have caught my attention. That's number one. Now, the reason why I would not have, it wouldn't have caught my attention and I would not have approached that person is 
two things. First of all, I see that as being materialistic. When you're trying to put out your designer bags and designer shoes and stuff, are you trying to tell me that that's the only what you expect from me? What about what you are bringing out? What about what you... Okay, it continues. That's the only what you expect from me? What about what you are bringing out? What about what you got as a person? What's the personality? You know, so it's hard for me to to justify that. Secondly, most of the stuff most likely not be not be original, not be genuine. So, I mean, it even sends a picture of you being fake as well. You know, trying to fake it to make it kind of thing. So. I wouldn't be interested in that. And my advice for a sister would be, you know, be natural. You know, put pictures that put you in a light mood, a happy mood. Your happiness is always very attractive as a woman. You know, your smile, you know, and don't do too heavy makeups. Just keep your good looks natural as it is. The background can be a simple background. It can be you doing what you love to do. It could be you being in a natural environment, you know, or with, you know, just with yourself and just being happy and natural. I think that's the best thing that would be so you have heard him guys from our own brother you know from nigeria is advising you all this let me hope you have taken one or two tips from him so dear friends our next couple will be of a zimbabwean lady by the name of tammy and a scottish man by the name of chris they are content creators i never shared their love story here on my channel but they've got how we met story on their channel which goes by the name of the mclaren family i say mclaren but the way it's written you will see it there guys so that you can go support this cute couple <laughs> she is my sister and has been helping me a lot in my content you guys might not know but you know behind the scene <laughs> when i do these videos especially if it is a video whereby i need to hear from different countries Oh my god these sisters of mine have been helping me a lot i can't stop thanking you guys so please let us support our sister from zimbabwe they met online i don't want to mention the name of the dating app so that you can go and watch their story on how they met but for today let us hear chris's opinion about the question that i asked Hey guys, guys, McLaren hi, family. Hi, hi, it's the McLaren family. I'm Tammy. <laughs> I'm Chris. Yeah. Sorry, you can't see our faces at the moment. It's a bit late while you're doing this. So there's a question that Bella has asked and she was asking Mr. McLaren, what does he think of women, ladies that are setting, um, setting for a partner abroad, wherever they are, online, mm -hmm. yeah, online dating. And on there, they're wearing like things like um, Gucci, Prada, Louis Vuitton and all those things. But knowing, okay, like where we are from, like there are lots of copy. What do you mean? What do you call them? Oh, like fake stuff. Fake things, yes. Like, um, but they are displaying the same the expensive taste. What do you think about that? What what perception does it have to you as a man? And what do you think of of that? And what's your advice? I'll let Mr. McLaren speak speak about it. Uh, that tells me that the woman's insecure. The woman's insecure, in my opinion. Um. Listen, if, if you want to wear fake stuff, it's no big deal. Um, but be yourself. I'm not, me personally, it wouldn't attract me because I want someone to be as real as they can. I don't want per somebody to put on like a, a show for someone. It's got to be be yourself. If you can afford these things, buy them. If you can't, then just be honest, I can't afford these things. Because when you finally meet someone, you're going to get to know the real person and then they're going to show themselves up as being fake i guess or maybe inside they want more from life and they just want to give the perception that they have more than they actually do um but personally it's, it's not a good look for me 
I think it's best to just be yourself. If someone can't accept you for who you are, that you just, you don't, you can't afford these kind of things, you don't have all that kind of money, then that's, then so be it, you move on to someone else who actually likes you for you. Do you think though, um, if like presenting the wrong picture, the other, can they can that deter the other man, the man that is looking? Can they be put off? Uh, yes, they that can. She's a gold digger, and she's gonna or she's gonna be expensive, or she's gonna be a liability. What do you think on that? No, listen, it, it would put me off, but not all guys would be put off by it. Being real to yourself and be the person you, you you're speaking with or meeting or whatever, they've got to be real. It's just not fake. Again, it, for me, it comes down to not accepting who you are and accepting the level of your lifestyle. It's not... If you haven't got the money for all the fancy stuff, then just be who you... Be what you can afford, I guess. But it, w it wouldn't make me think that someone's a gold digger, no. I would just make me think that someone's portraying an image of a standard or a... Or a, a I don't know what the word for it is. How how much money someone's got or how financially sound they are. Mm -hmm. So what, for a poor guy, know. someone someone that is not well to do or just an ordinary realistic person, do you think they'll they would feel like oh no I can't I won't be able to meet up with this and they'll move on to the next is it is do you think that's a disadvantage to them, the people searching? <laughs> Well, if I saw someone online who was dressed up in fancy gear, mm. right, even, I mean, you can, most of the time, you're not going to tell it's fake, mm. but your first impression would be, okay, mm. this person obviously likes high branded items yeah. from clothing, no doubt they want an expensive house, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> shoes, yeah. like a car, all that kind of thing, <laughs> and, and would probably be looking for someone who, who a guy who earns yes. a good amount of money. Yeah, because there's some. So that, that, that would probably, I'd probably say, nah, it's not for me. But, but I wouldn't want the other person to be, to waste their time and waste my time. Mm. If that makes sense. It's the same as standing, taking pictures, standing in front of a hammer or an expensive car. And it's not yours. And it's not yours, it's a car just parked I on don't, the road. That, that doesn't appeal to me in the slightest. I don't, if, I, if I owned a rubbish car, I'd stand in front of it. I'm not ashamed. Yeah. Someone else. I want someone who's not embarrassed of themselves. Yeah. And what constantly worries what other people think. I don't like that. That's. Yeah. That's to me. That's. That's not good. Good yeah. yet. So. so uh, yeah. So what do you? Okay. What's your conclusion to the whole thing? Anybody who goes online looking to meet someone, whether it's a man or a woman, mm -hmm. just be yourself. Be honest, open and honest from the start, including the images and pictures and stuff you put on there. Yeah. Don't go on there. Flexing like you're, you've got lots of money and I'm wearing all this designer gear when deep down you don't. Yeah. Because whoever, if you meet someone who's honest, <laughs> they're just going to say, ah, right, okay, I met you once and I see how you really are. Yeah. Why did you pretend to be something else? <laughs> it's just like uh, you're not a nurse, but you, you wear a nurse's uniform. And, and you're it, not a nurse. And then you take a picture. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, so that was Mr. McLaren. Thank you so much for sharing your information. And this is Tammy. So that was um, Chris and this is Tammy. So guys, I hope you pick one or two things. And thank you so much, Bella, for giving us this opportunity. Sorry, it's a bit late now. It's almost midnight and I had to get Mr. McLaren to do this. So we couldn't record a video, but we we're able to send this for you guys. And uh, whoever's listening, I would like to wish you success in your, your search. And I hope you find who you're looking for. And God bless you. Ciao. Love you all. Mwah. Bye. So dear friends, we have heard from the McLaren family. Right now, we are going to be hearing from... <laughs> Our next couple, couple number eight, is of Sharon and Tom. Tom is a German guy. Sharon is a Kenyan lady, you know, based in German because she's married and they've got one cute baby girl by the name of Zoe. Kisses. <laughs> so guys, some of you I know you know Sharon and family, you have subscribed to her YouTube channel, but if it is your first time today hearing this channel, it is an interracial couple channel, please go and subscribe to her channel, 
the channel name is Sharon and family support our Kenyan sister okay and by the way guys before I forget I shared Sharon and family's story on how they met on their channel they've got a video on how they met <laughs> they met on afro introductions if you didn't know but to know a detailed story watch my video but you can also go on her channel and watch that video on how they met without wasting much of your time let us hear tom's opinion concerning the question uh, uh, there is this questions that uh, was asked with someone and she said that uh, what if uh, if you are in um in a, a dating app and a girl is wearing designers like gucci louis vuitton and living fancy fancy life would you approach her and why if you would approach her what's the why and if you would not approach her why would for me this is not so important what people uh, or other girl wear. Uh huh. So you could you, uh, you would approach her regardless of the clothes of the what they wear or the designers or something like that. I look not for this. Uh, you look um, for the clothes. You do. You don't look for. We just look that you will. <coughs> this is someone that you can. Have a family with or something like yeah. that. You don't know. I, I only like much makeup, lipstick, and uh, I. You uh, don't like to uh, make up. Yeah. 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 So maybe it's saying, um, it's saying that uh, for him, he would approach the person. For him, uh, what you wear or designers or something like that doesn't affect if he would approach you. But for makeup. The thing that you would not like is the um, makeup, too much makeup, and uh, all, all that is only that what he doesn't like. But if you are, that is your life, so. On tattoos, I don't like much, but you have not much tattoos. tattoos. <laughs> 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 Okay, so that's the answer. So guys, our couple number nine, I know you love this couple a lot, which is of Leticia and Ian. Leticia, Ugandan, Ian, American. You guys that have subscribed to their YouTube channel, they didn't ask me to tell you this, but I know because <laughs> I communicate with them. They are coming back very, very soon. Thank you so much for giving them the support. If it's your first time today hearing Ian and Leticia, they've got a YouTube channel which goes by the name of We Believe in You. They found love on online dating app called OK Cupid. If you have not watched their story on how they met, I've got that juicy story here on my channel but on their channel too they shared with you when ian went to visit leticia's family it's such a beautiful video but we are not here to talk about that today guys we need to hear from ian his own opinion because he found love online and they're planning to get married so their relationship is a serious one a very concrete relationship welcome ian Hello, Bella. This is Ian from Ian and Letitia with We Believe in You. Thank you so much for contacting me and asking my opinion on this. It's certainly an interesting, certainly something to think about. Uh, how much do profile pictures really impact who we talk to? A, a ton. There's no other way about it. Having profile pictures with expensive handbags or designer dresses, the way I look at it might be a little bit funny, uh, but I think it might also be true. I think that in the world we live in, the logos and designer seems very appealing, right? The having a designer bag that says Louis Vuitton or Coach or whatnot is certainly something to have. And in the world we live in, you know, how many of those are actually real? That's kind of how I look at it. When I see profile pictures of a woman with a designer bag, I think, you know, it's probably not a $4,000 bag probably a, you know, $50 bag that has a logo on it of a bigger design house. So it's certainly not like I think, wow, I'm going to be spending four grand just to take this girl shopping. I think for all of us, 
we want to see someone that we would match well with. If I saw a woman's picture, I think, how would you, how would we look together? Would we look like we fit or would we look like we don't fit? Would I have to dress up to match her or she have to dress up to match me? And it really depends on where we're going, kind of the whole thing. I think the most important thing with situations like this is to show a range. Show how you normally dress when you go out with your friends. You know, show how you dress when you're comfortable. And I don't mean comfortable like just laying around the house kind of thing. Although, if that was one picture of something that, you know, Letitia sends me pictures you know, of, of her and what she's wearing that day, and she's more dressed up around the house than I certainly am. I think that showing that range is really important. A picture of really dressed up, makeup, hair, uh, designer bag, designer shoes, or lookalike ones would be, would be great. But part of a variety of the pictures that are there. People can see themselves with someone out in any kind of a situation. There are certainly, you know, some profiles that I came across that looked like they probably didn't have nice enough clothes to go out to some of the nicer places that I like to go to. So that was one end of it. A woman's profile that shows nothing but fashion and nothing but designer bags and nothing but that kind of a look would also be probably, wouldn't really, I wouldn't really picture that as a good fit because what about being comfortable? I don't, I don't as a man prioritize all that, right? I like natural beauty. I like a woman who, you know, just naturally beautiful how she is. Doesn't take a lot to, to doll someone up, right? And I think that what really spoke to me, what really jumped out about to me with Letitia's photos was how she looked very fashionable. All of her outfits were, weren't overly revealing. They weren't skimpy, as she likes to say. When we were talking about this video, what, I, what she thought I should talk about, she said, you know, girls in designer skimpy clothes. And I was like, are all designer clothes skimpy? I don't, I don't know. I don't think so. Her outfits... She always looked very well put together. She always looked like she was, there was a cute little couple of things that were very, that, that worked well together. Uh, a cute jacket, a cute top, you know, not a, a dress like she was going to be. I think that's another thing too, is that women who just wear designer dresses can sometimes be, and this is a generalization, they may give off the vibe of needing to be taken care of or they wouldn't want to chip a nail or scratch a nail. You know, I'm specifically looking for dating, want to get married and have more children. Sometimes it could come across or look like a woman who is very dressed up and that's her only kind of a look that she's showing in her pictures. It would concern me when it comes to how does a baby fit into this? How does, you know, grocery shopping fit into this, right? You want to have a range of things. Now, on the other hand, if women are very particular, and they only really want one type of a man who is going to, they don't grocery shop, right? They're going to have things delivered to the house, you know, or maybe the, a man who's not really looking for children, then a woman who's all dressed up and looks like a million bucks all the time, you know, guys don't have the same expectations. I think if the goal is for women to have more men approach them and to find more matches, then having a variety of pictures that shows their reign from comfortable to chic. But it shouldn't focus on just one thing by any means. And also a big part of it is to have pictures of them having fun. Letitia is very good at this. I, I can't, I'm not quite sure why. <laughs> but in the U.S., when pictures are being taken, oftentimes people, when they're having their pictures taken, they look directly at the camera and they'll smile. Right? Like they're going to have their photo taken. But a lot of Letitia's pictures were very candid. So it was her, you know, talking to other friends, not really looking at the camera, right? Like capturing the moment kind of a thing, which as a photographer, I love. Tells the story. You can kind of much more feel like you're there rather than, you know, her with some friends and everyone's looking right at the camera, right for the photo to be taken. So a candid photo 
tells me a lot more or it makes me feel it feels less staged it feels more authentic from having taken photos you know of friends for years here in the u.s she understands the candid photo better than anyone i don't have to explain it to her and it's the first time i've never had to explain it so that's a good thing too i think if women and men can show themselves in the moment in a candid moment in a moment of having fun with other people or doing something that they like that's not directly looking at the camera smiling it captures more of who they are or it helps others see a glimpse into who they are that's a wonderful thing that's a really great way to communicate more about a person thanks bella i appreciate being invited back onto the channel and having the opportunity to shed a little bit of light and give my opinion and my perspective and i can't wait to see how this finally turns out and other people's opinion thanks so dear friends, our couple number 10, you know about it guys, because I shared their love story here on my channel, which is of Rebecca, a Congolese lady, and Verna, a Dutch guy. They found love on a online dating app called Afro Introductions. So if you did not subscribe to Rebecca's channel, her YouTube channel name goes by the name of Rebecca's and fam please support our congolese sister she has got very good content i shared their love story here on my channel but they've got their story too on how they met so you can go to their channel watch that and watch other videos that will help you very very much in your search in life in general yes because i know my sister is so good at diys <laughs> do it yourself thing so you will really learn a lot from her but right now we are going to be hearing from Verna, his response, his own opinion concerning the question that I asked. Welcome, Verna and Rebecca. <laughs> I have a question about dating sites. Yeah, you were on a dating site. Yeah, on um, different, one. yeah, different dating sites. So, like, let's go back in time. Imagine that time when you were still there and you were searching. Yeah. Okay, Let's okay. Say you were there. <laughs> you were there and you were scrolling, yeah? Mm -hmm. And then uh, according to the way you live, your lifestyle and um, the kind of woman you like, uh, if you're scrolling and then you see a lady, you see a profile and it seems interesting, yeah? And then you go into her photos, mm -hmm. yeah? And if you see her, on her photos that she's wearing um, designer clothes, you know, those expensive Prada stuff. Bye-bye. And bags. <laughs> <laughs> like, would you no, contact good, her? Good luck with your bags. I will talk to you, but that's it. <laughs> Why? Why would you talk to her? Because you have too much expectations. I'm not going to know that. What do you mean expectations? When you wear that, you have a certain type of lifestyle or you, uh, you are... Um, uh, one have that because mm -hmm. otherwise you wouldn't do this mm -hmm. and I'm not the one who's going to do that if you make you do that so. I'm the tender I'm the tender yeah I won't okay yeah that's quite but maybe she's working maybe she's also another herself. thing yeah. no <laughs> maybe happen. she's she's independent herself. yeah she's independent she's like Good. she can afford those things so then I maybe she take... doesn't expect that from you okay then still, I don't know, because then it's more like I'm a career woman, I do things for me, I am this, I am me, me, me. If I, if I, if, look, see like this, if you're a woman mm -hmm. and you look for a guy and you see the guy is always partying, having fun, hanging out with your friends, being independent, would you like that? Uh, no. Okay. Like if you want a, a relation and you want something stable, I don't think I'll go for a guy like that. Unless I want to party. So maybe the then. same. If I want to have fun, <laughs> maybe after that, bye bye. Nah, so it will not be a woman. Then. No. We have a relationship uh -huh. with. No. Yeah. So that was the question. Oh, that's the <laughs> but that's me. Plenty of millionaires like it. Yeah. If you're a millionaire, of course you can afford. If it. you're an old millionaire 
and you don't have kids, you don't want nothing, that's the perfect woman. You can spend your money on it, on her. She happy, you happy. Good luck. Okay, thanks. So guys, now to our last couple. Yes, guys, the last, last, last. Cause yes, I know lots of couples who found love on online dating apps. Some I have shared their love stories, but some not. But if I could have talked to all of them, that means the video could not have ended. <laughs> it could have continued and continued. But for today, we should end it here. And maybe some other time, I will also talk to the remaining couples. <laughs> Ask them another question that will help you guys who are on online dating apps searching for the one. If you are my subscriber, you know this couple because I shared their beautiful online dating success love story here on my channel. They met on Tinder. Yes. The couple goes by the name of KK and Graham. KK is Ugandan. Graham is Scottish. So guys, to the question. Let us hear from Graham, his own opinion concerning this. And if you did not watch their love story on how they met, please watch it after this video. Yes, you will really, really love it. It's such an inspiring story, a touching story. So welcome, Graham. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bit a second behind their delay. Yeah. Right? <laughs> So guys, uh, I'm called KK. And I'm Graham. And um, Graham and I met one year ago. Mm -hmm. And actually today we've just celebrated um, an anniversary yeah. called Red Rose Day. Yeah. Uh, a year ago when we met, um, we went out to uh, a nice restaurant called Duck Bay. And um, once we finished having our lunch, we went um, for a walk by the water uh, on a lock and we met an old man who gave us a rose in the memory of his wife and every year we decided to celebrate that day as red rose day so it actually fell today it, it fell on the day that bella asked us to record this which is this so is lovely because yeah. we just came back from celebrating back that home, yeah, yeah. and um if you come over to our channel guys we also do youtube uh it's called tia and kk you'll be able to watch that video um because we tried to go back and see if we could find the the man again and you know basically let him know that we've studied this uh, we've studied the red rose day in honor of him honoring his wife yes. his um wife i think she passed on yeah. so yeah you guys um so please do follow us on tia and kk it's called tia and kk me kk and tia my daughter and then obviously graham has recently joined, joined us. yes <laughs> But guys make sure to comment and subscribe and join our family but uh today i have a few questions for graham and we are also going to give you a few tips about um online dating and your online profile right so that's graham, how we met that's how yes we met, that's yeah. how we met guys we met on online yeah. <laughs> so graham uh, my question is um so I want you to go back to the days of you searching for a person, right? Yes. Searching for a lady. Um, if you were to scroll through those dating apps and you fell on a profile of a lady who is wearing designer clothes, so basically wearing Gucci or Prada, uh, Armani, she, she's head to toe designer clothes. Would you approach her profile? Would you be hesitant? Because some people think, oh God, she, she might be very expensive, you know, mm. when it comes to mm. upkeep. Mm. So with the type of person that you were looking for, or the reason why you went to, to online dating, whether you were looking for a wife uh, or, you know, white night stand or whatever, if mm. you came across a profile of a woman yeah. dressed in designer clothes, yeah. would, would you, you approach or you wouldn't? I think, uh, and this is completely unrehearsed, uh, so that's why I'm just going to take just a moment to consider, but I genuinely, I, I don't think that would put me off necessarily, 
I, I don't think because a woman takes pride in her appearance and we try to present herself in the best way she can, albeit wrapped in designer clothes, right, that I would necessarily, one, be intimidated by that, or two, really put off. Uh, I think my view would be that the woman's successful probably in her own right. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think it's really, really important that, uh, as I say, I don't think I'd be put off. I, I think that would actually attract me, to be perfectly honest, to a woman. And as I said, I wouldn't necessarily assume that she's high maintenance. And at the end of the day, if you met her and she was a really, really nice person, whether she was dressed in designer gear or not, I think that's the thing. It's really what our heart's about, to be fair. But that wouldn't put me off. It wouldn't put me off approaching a woman because I thought she was high maintenance. Uh, so sorry. It, it wouldn't put you off because with some people, why I ask that question is because some people might get put off simply because they think, oh my goodness, she's this woman, maintenance. yeah, she's wearing designer. She's, she's out I'm going to have to continue, you know, paying for those designer clothes. Will I be able to afford this? And then some men might run away from that. Yeah, but So are you saying that because you feel like you would be able to maintain or... No, no Just, well, yes, I think I could, but that, that, that's not the point. I think it, it certainly wouldn't put me off an initial meeting with a person. Do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It certainly wouldn't put me off maybe arranging a date, a dinner date, even a coffee date to get to know the person. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think then if it became that she was kind of selfish, arrogant, really high maintenance, expecting I suppose you to contribute everything then yeah perhaps that may be a different story but mm -hmm. certainly looking at the women's profile somebody be decked in de designer clothes until I got to know the person I would be saying yes <laughs> okay does that make sense yeah, yeah. it kind of does because you're giving the person a chance of you meeting them and literally getting to know them and not judging person. them absolutely. from just a picture. Absolutely. Because some people also might end up saying, let me um, upload photos when I am wearing designer clothes so I can try and find somebody who's... Um, yeah, it's self-sufficient as well. Yeah, as yeah, yeah. 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 Um, okay, so okay. what tips would you give to women when it comes to um, displaying their profile what kind of photos should they put up yeah. in their bio what kind of information should they put up um so what tips from a yeah. man perspective can yeah. you give to women when it comes to doing their online profile it's funny you should say that because i was speaking to a friend earlier on today regarding this uh, because she's actually trying online dating for the first time mm -hmm. and she was given advice by one of her friends mm -hmm. that she shouldn't put glamorous photos on that she should put down to earth big woolly jumpers and wellies kind of pictures do you understand what I'm saying yeah uh, if, if that's your, your kind of true self my view is slightly different though if I'm being absolutely honest and, and if it suits people if it suits them to do that that's absolutely their prerogative but my view is different I actually think whether it's a man or a woman, I genuinely think that you need to try, with all due respect, to paint yourself in the best light that you can. Mm -hmm. So if you were going out to someone to a bar or a club to meet, if you were going out with your friends to a bar and a club one Saturday night, you're not going to dress in sackcloth. You're going to put your best glad rags on. You're going to try and dress up. And, and I genuinely think that uh, people would need to show their, be their best, and, and that would be my view. Uh, the, only th the only other thing that I would definitely say, uh, and the most off-putting thing, is that if your picture doesn't reflect reality, so if, you're, if you post a picture from 25 years ago and you've put on five stone in weight and you've got no hair like I, like me, uh, then you're kind of, you, you really just try to deceive people and I, and I wouldn't like that. Yeah, that's so, a cut fishing. Is that, is, is that, it's got a name. So yeah. I think you should present yourself in your best light without going overboard. I think it needs to be decent pictures. Do you know what I mean? I think it needs to be decent, not, uh, not anything else. And I think you need to present yourself in your best light because why wouldn't you want to? Why wouldn't you want to? Mm -hmm. Until somebody, you know, comes And what about like in the bio? The kind of things that they should write in their bio? You hear, it's, it, 
to be honest, it's each to their own. I mean, you read so many weird and wonderful things. The amount of people that like weightlifting, the amount of people that like hill walking, the amount of people that do. I, I just, I just think you need to be honest again if, if what your interests are, yeah. generally. But uh, yeah, I don't think it needs to be any more complicated than that. My opinion would be um, if you're going. If, a lady if you're gonna create your online profile be as honest as you can be and also just in your bio lay down everything that you want in a person and everything that um and, and like don't lower your standards everything that you want in a person right and also um you can d write down your hobbies you can you know write down the things that you're interested in you can tell them a little bit about you know yourself and what's currently happening in your life but at the end of the day um always try to make sure that you 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 don't sound desperate in in your bio or fake or yeah. fake yeah, yeah and then when it comes to your photos as well put decent photos don't put photos when you're you know like in bikinis or you're wearing That's like um yeah. i don't know like hot pants you know, like clothes that are so revealing, try and be more sophisticated. Yes. Um, because most men might end up matching with you and they, they are douchebags, but simply because of the things that you're wearing in your profile. You know what I mean? You can send mm. off the wrong messages. They make assumptions. Exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then obviously, if you do match with somebody, then keep with your values, keep with your, um, what's the other word? Well, you mentioned standards. To be yeah, fair, keep and your I, and standards I and just basically um, push what you're wanting and don't be diverted into something else that you're not looking for. Um, don't feel like, oh my goodness, if, if um, I don't accept what this person is saying, I'm going to lose out or anything like that. No, 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 no. Don't no. do that. Just enforce your beliefs enforce um your wants enforce your needs and hopefully yeah i mean that that, that, that makes sense yeah. and you're right about not dropping your standards obviously you had to but you know it's one of those things you know? <laughs> <laughs> guys if you want to see more of us make sure you subscribe to our channel absolutely Tia and kk uh, we'll put the name on the screen so you guys can get the right spelling but thank you so much for supporting us, for supporting Bella. Make sure you also sub subscribe to her channel. Absolutely. And we'll see you over at Tia and Keke. Bye. 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 <laughs> so, dear friends, to my opinion, I told you guys, after listening to all these couples, you also have to hear my own opinion. Because <laughs> I never wanted to say my opinion first before listening to them. I still stick to what I have been advising you if you checked me on Instagram. But I am here right now telling you that please avoid those photos. It is okay to have your Chanel bag. It is okay to have your Louis Vuitton bag. It is okay. Whether fake, whether real, that's your life. I respect that. But when it comes to the photos that you upload on your online dating profile, avoid that because they bring the whole other interpretation about you and if you heard Ian very well when a serious guy looks at your profile what he does is compare himself with your profile his lifestyle the things that he likes you know so if he thinks that you are compatible or you have got some things in common of course he is going to write to you so if your photo is the first thing that that serious guy comes across when he sees your profile if he's gonna find you posing in designer things he might get scared you know compare himself due to his lifestyle and don't get me wrong it's not that this guy is poor can't take care of you, you know, <laughs> can't give you good life. No, he can. He totally 
can but maybe he can't afford to buy for you a six thousand designer handbag but living a normal life a guy loves you so much a guy is genuine he is <laughs> So if this guy looks at it and be like, no, I'm not to her level, I can't afford that, <laughs> then he will ignore you. You lose the chances to find a serious guy. Number two, they said all these guys, <laughs> some of them, when they see you in designer clothes, they will think that maybe that's all that matters to you in your life. And this guy is very serious. He's looking for a woman to settle down with. <laughs> so if he feels like seeing those designer clothes on you, you showcasing glam life in your photo. <laughs> He will be like, no, this is not for me because I'm not into all that glam life. Oh, I can't offer you that. <laughs> Maybe you need someone who is extra rich. Maybe that's what you're looking for. That's what he is going to think and he will eventually ignore you. That way you have lost a chance, you know, to find a serious guy. Not only that, number three, some will think that the profile is fake. It's a fake profile. So why should you want serious men to see your profile as a fake profile? You want to look real as possible because you are a real woman. You are a genuine woman. Because some of these ladies, guys, I've chatted with them. It's not that they are fake ladies. They are real, real. And unfortunately, you know, back home in Africa, not everyone can differentiate a handbag that is fake or real. Even these white guys, when they see your photos, they can't tell your handbag is fake. They will think it's real. But back home, we don't care, you know? <laughs> We just buy and, you know, use. So it's not that this lady is trying to showcase what men are thinking. No bad thoughts. This lady is materialistic. This lady is high maintenance. This lady is all into luxury stuff. Yes, I can't lie. We all would want that luxurious life to live like that. But how the reality of life is, we all cannot afford that. Not all of us. Some who are blessed can afford that. And I told you on online dating apps exist loads of normal guys. A man who wakes up very early in the morning and goes to work, then return home in the evening very tired after hustling for his life. So if he comes across a profile of you showcasing luxury stuffs, he is going to ignore your profile. You stay there and be like, no one is rich me out <laughs> or I'm reaching them out no one is responding they're scared of you <laughs> so guys we go to another category of this lady you know I've told you in Africa people don't care all that much of how much is that Fendi bag, a Louis Vuitton bag, a Gucci bag. Most don't care and even some don't know the real prices of those handbags. What people do, especially back home, they just follow the trend, you know? Maybe saw a celebrity on Instagram posing with a Gucci bag and that Gucci bag is everywhere on social media. Of course, she will look for that Gucci bag. Even if it costs $20, $30, she will buy it because it's all about trends. <laughs> and if that lady poses, she doesn't have any malicious motives like, oh, I'm looking for a rich guy. Oh, I'm a gold digger. Oh, I'm materialistic. No. <laughs> Just simply as that, like I explained to you. But we have this category of a lady. She goes on online dating apps and she poses with those designer things, designer clothes, designer handbags, <laughs> shoes, because she wants a rich guy. I've come across a lady like that. She told me, Bella, I am looking for a sugar daddy. I'm looking for a guy 
Who can afford to buy me a Chanel bag? Do you think I'm gonna judge her? I'm not gonna judge her because that's what she wants. I've been here telling you, go for what you want, right? <laughs> so why should I discourage you to go for what you want if you are looking for a rich guy? That's okay, that's your life. You're looking for a sugar daddy, that's okay. You're looking for someone rich, it's okay. But the thing is, I want to tell you the truth. Even these rich, rich guys that you are looking for <laughs> who goes on online dating apps, they don't join online dating apps to search for a lady who will see them as a sugar daddy, who will see them as someone who will buy them luxurious stuff, spoil them. <laughs> no, they will go on online dating apps to search for real love. So even if this rich guy comes across your profile, you showcasing all luxurious stuffs, luxurious handbags, outfits, he's not going to be interested in you because for him, he is interested in finding true love. He is interested to find a real woman, a woman who will love him, a woman who will spoil him. You want to be spoiled <laughs> with that sugar daddy? The sugar daddy wants to be spoiled by you. You should shower him with love. That is what he is searching for. So he will see your profile and be like, no, this lady is not looking for what I am looking for in here. I did a video of a German guy who was super, super rich. The girlfriend, the wife now tells us he never showcased that he was that rich. Why? Because he wanted to find true love. So don't lie to yourself and be like, I am going to wear expensive stuffs so that I can find a rich guy. No, no, not at all. Just be you, be real. To add on this, go and watch a video where I talked about your online dating profile. The video is long already. I have lots of things to share with you, but I can't do no more in this video. So dear friends, we have come to an end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching till now. Those who participated in this video, again, thank you very, very much. I appreciate your love, your support to do this with me. So if you've liked this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, family, everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something. Please comment below what you think about this video, your opinion, I would like to know. Watch my other videos too, they are super, super good. You will learn lots of things from those videos. Please subscribe if you have not subscribed. Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao. Mwah.